Ah, hello, and welcome to Capstone Live. I'm Michael Dahl. Can't you just smell it? <sighs> Fall, my favorite time of year. Fall, my favorite time of year. Ah, yes, when the wind is brisker, the air is cooler, the days are shorter, and the sun sets faster. All excellent reasons, by the way, for staying inside and reading more books. You know, Capstone has a lot of books coming out this fall. I'd love to share with you a little bit of their fall harvest. The brand new Little Pebble books are perfect for fall. Apples, harvest, fall leaves, pumpkins. And that's just one series. We've got 12 new books in all. Winter, for the season after fall. And even cooler, what's in there? For example, you might see one of these in a tree. What makes Little Pebble so special is the reading level. Each title has an AR level of 1.0 or less. They're quizzable. Nature and science topics for the emerging reader. And the text and the photo match are hand in glove. Now here's a new series that really packs a punch. We call it Mind Benders. Colorful, humorous page turners with a low text load but a gigantic interest level. They're brimming with wacky facts. Did you know that if you were in a black hole, your body would stretch out like a long piece of spaghetti? Did you know there's a sea creature called a blobfish? Suddenly, I'm not hungry anymore. But these books will help those who struggle diving into a chapter book. It'll give them more confidence in their abilities. You know, children also learn confidence by reading about others who have struggled. Jars of Hope tells the true and not often told story of Irena Sendler, a Catholic Polish nurse who helped 2,500 Jewish children escape the Warsaw Ghetto during World War II. Irena was eventually found out, captured, and imprisoned. She suffered terrible cruelty at the hands of the Nazis, but she eventually escaped herself. After she regained her health, she went back to Poland in disguise, and she helped even more Jews escape. Share this heroic story with your young readers and find out what Arena put in those jars and why she buried them. Meet Victoria Torres, an average 12-year-old girl who hates being average. This spunky preteen tries hard to stand out. She makes mistakes along the way, but she never loses the support of her family or her best friend, B. And eventually, Victoria learns to believe in herself. Plus, each book has a fun recipe in the back matter for making tasty snacks that fit in with the theme of each book. Mmm, yummy. Another reason I love the fall? Halloween. I told that raven, never more. Anyway, I have written four new books, collections of spooky, eerie, creepy tales just right for the holidays, or for when young readers want to read those scary stories, which is always... Michael Dahl's really scary stories are about frozen ghosts, backpacks that move in the night, a strange girl who only appears in phone pictures, and a great aunt who comes back from the grave for her favorite niece's birthday. And more. Wahahaha, wahahaha, wah. Oh, you mean they can see me now? Great, my potion must have worn off. Well, anyway, let's end with another really cool series. This is a series that will make your readers smart readers. Well, smarts, actually. Science maker and real technology students. Three friends, along with their favorite librarian, use their uh, smarts and the crafts and skills and tools from their makerspace to solve mind-boggling mysteries at school. UFOs, poisonous lunch times, and a mysterious phantom who is using their 3D printer. This unlikely trio grows into an unstoppable team of problem solvers. As you flip, I mean, f flip through the chapters, Okay, that's better. Well, as you flip through the chapters, you will learn how these students think and how they use their observation and their skills to turn themselves into modern-day Sherlock Holmes or uh, Wikipedia Brown.
Now, for instance, that one story, it's called Smarts and the Invisible Robot. It's pretty cool. And you might ask yourselves, how can a, a robot become invisible? Because it does happen. Well, think about this. Sometimes we don't see things that we don't want to see. Hmm. And in this story, when they, well, you're going to have to read the book. Until next time. Read. Read more. Read more.